this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are on this journey to unconditional love. And so I'm out in my garden. This is a, I think it's called a, <laughs> I'm terrible, but I think it's called a, um, a hydrangea. And um, when I came back, I've been away for five days and it's, oh, I don't know how long, but anyway, it's been super hot in the UK. And uh, when I came back and I came out yesterday, this plant was completely shriveled up, <laughs> like this one here. <laughs> and um, I thought, oh no, it's, de it's dead. And even this one, half of them have come back to life again. And the leaves have sprung back, sprung back again. So I came out yesterday and I gave them loads of water. And lo and behold, this has been completely come back to life. And so, that is the message for today. Because, as I was just coming to see this message this morning and I came out um, to come and water them, that was the guidance that was coming through. It was basically say, look, you might have feel that you've been completely shriveled up <laughs> and just about to basically give in, right, on the journey because you feel like this shriveled up piece of um, flower because you know you have had no contact from your twin it just looks completely hopeless and useless and everything <clears throat> but if you look here yesterday this plant was completely completely all shriveled up and now they are springing back to life this whole bush there was exactly the same and now it's completely sprung back to life and so that is the, the message they want to give. They, that's what they're saying. They're saying is there is, you know, don't ever give up hope because even in when it looks like you're just about to shrivel up and <laughs> have no way of seeing how you can ever come back into your reunion or how this is ever going to happen, then you know basically the universe is going to give a big burst of water which is what hap which is what's happening with the eclipse and the removal of all the fears and doubts and inputting this huge burst of energy into us the other thing is as i was doing this i noticed that there were loads of blackberries and in my garden and so when I came out to water, not only that, but I found all of these blackberries in the tree. So I also got my breakfast from the tree. <laughs> so it was like the universe saying, look, it might be that you felt like this for quite a while, but don't worry because we're gonna give you the kiss of life. And the kiss of life will bring you back into this full bloom bush. And that's everything that's coming to you. Your abundance, your joy, your happiness, whatever dreams that you have. It's all about keep dreaming big. Now, when I was just doing that, I'm going to go back in because I just pulled a roomy card. Oh, also the lavender completely died as well. Uh, but that's coming back. So I pulled a roomy card. And uh, I thought, right, okay, I'm going to see what roomy has to say to us. Bearing in mind, I've been given the message about the flowers this morning. And the roomy card is, enter the garden of delight. <laughs> so again, it was like, kind of quite perfect. So this is the roomy, ah, look at that, and it's page 127. And 27 is the energy of walking away and leaving behind energies that you no longer need. So it is. Are you aware that sweetness is found everywhere in town? Are you aware that winter is gone and spring has come around? Are you aware that sweet basil and the carnation are whispering in the garden and laughing about how simply everything is found? Are you aware the nightingale has come back from its flight, singing out messages of love to spread delight with every sound? Everything in the garden is, is granted the right from the divine court to appear for our delight. Everything is here to make the earth green and alive as a haven for our life. What remains buried in the soil will always endeavour to reach out. No one truly alive can ever be pawn to a prison or a tomb. There is a sweet spot when entering the Garden of Delights, 
a moment where the senses have gorged themselves upon beauty and become heavy with their fullness, slowing the mind so that it can perceive the Divine Beloved dancing behind the veils of nature. But first comes the sensual feasting. Blooming orchids arrest the gaze with their startling and strange beauty. Nectar from the ripest fruits of the garden drips luscious and sweet upon a savouring tongue. Hungry for gossip, the ears shamelessly eavesdrop upon the birds in melodic conversation. They sing of greatest, most passionate love and boundless living joy. The ears open wide to take it all in. The craving for touch is sated by rough textured bark falling from the ancient trees. Soft dewy grasses cool in the shade, the crunching leaves making their sounds under the hot sun and dancing feet and the caress of that sunlight upon bare shoulders, with weight of its own like a silkiness wrapped placed, just so by a caring lover's hand. The breeze, the very breath of the beloved Earth Mother, is sweet with scent of lavender and jasmine warmed by the sun. O oh, drink it in until your arms raise themselves to heaven. Your head tilts, eyes rolling back in your head, and your sacred animal body is mindless and in love. The Garden of Delights, narcotic in effect, lulling the senses from tension into sacred languor that love may be experienced. Let us rest here in the mists of such so much life, where the goodness of life is felt and the heart is free from any prison of pain or doubt. Come, be in the garden with me now. Let us be free and feast to our heart's content. Okay, so... It is all about to come alive requires shedding of so much adherence to the fear of death, the fear of letting go of the old. The great brother whispers wisdom into your heart. You have heard it, felt it already. The fear of death is so much more terrible than death itself. Nothing is dying in you but fear so the heart can live more freely. Death and life are twin angels dancing together in communion communion with the sacred they are not opposed they bring the soul aliveness and make the garden of delights possible they bring the seasons of the soul that foster growth and take the appearance of dying away which is actually part of the cycle of life again and again and again okay so just like the plants right that uh, this message was all about is basically saying just when you think you can't take it anymore and you're just like I feel like a shriveled up prune because I need some love I need some physical touch I need some contact I need all of those things and that's what the universe is saying it's saying don't worry because even though it might feel like there's no hope and you're just going to fall off the wagon basically then it's coming to give this big boost to say it's okay it's okay because we are going to revive you we're going to give you this big flood of love and light energy and all you need to do is step into that flow and release the fears and release doubts and just step into the flow of divine love so and with that the song for today is heaven is a place on earth and i've put the um the song into the description box and um, yesterday's message was all about saying about, you know, we are creating heaven on earth. And so that isn't going to be an overnight thing. It's going to take time. And so it is about trusting and believing that you're part of that mission as a twin flame. And so it is about moving through the quagmire of fear and doubt and moving more and more into the space of unconditional love more and more into the flow of what divine love can bring and using any which way you can in order to help you get that. So I'm going to read letter number 28 from the divine love letter books that I do because that's clearly the one that wants to come out today. So I'm going to read from book one first. So these are all channel letters. Oh look at that. <laughs> Open on 28. So, my darling, light of my life, the truest person I have ever been lucky enough to have enter my life. Like a rainstorm in the desert, you washed away my shadows. You made me see the light inside and made me want to know more and more and more. And then I was afraid that the rain would stop and you wouldn't be there 
so I was afraid to really let go. I was afraid to dance in the rain, to let myself be free to be who I really am, to be who we really are together, and throw caution to the wind, and throw off all our fears, all inhibitions, and dance naked in the rain forever and ever and ever. That is what I truly want to say and do with you. I love you. I love everything about you. You're my saviour back to me. I love you. Okay, well, notice that talks about rain. <laughs> and that's what the plants really, really needed. And, um, and I just love how all the sinks happen. I mean, it's just perfect. It's like this amazing, you know, universe support is just incredible. Okay, so letter 28 from book two. Hello, my lovely, my gorgeous angel face with the twinkly eyes. I love you. I love your smile. I love how you make me smile from the inside out. No one else can do that. No one has the ability, the magic Midas touch, to know at the heart of me what will make me happy, how to be with me. But that's the beautiful mystery. You know everything. You know me, the real me. You get to the heart of who I am and aren't fooled by the fake persona I put out to the rest of the world. You are tender. You are compassion. With you, I can be me. And with me, you can be you. For we are each other's home, our place of safety, of knowing, of pure divine love, the greatest love of all. Okay, well, so what's really sweet about these is yesterday uh, I did a read and the overall energy between us was the divine feminine. Um, it was... And it was just a very feminine energy all over. It was a very sort of soft and loving um, energies coming from both. And that's really reflected in these letters. Okay, so letter 28 from book three is this. My guiding light, my shining star, my twinkle in the night sky, the bubble in my fizzy drink, you make me tingle inside. You are my bubble of love. I wish that we could live our life in a bubble of love and float into the atmosphere together. You are the only thing I need to survive. Our energy is mixed up like a soda pop. You make me go pop. Pop for love. Pop for joy. And pop for I want more. I can never and will never get enough of your love. Our love is going to send us so crazy, madly, deeply, wild for each other. Okay, well, need I say more? I mean, just, again, just beautiful messages. And the other thing is, I really like that that last letter said about popping. Because, um, just like I shared, just to, to take us back to the beginning of the video, but those flowers, they literally popped back into life right as soon as they took sucked in that water and sucked in that life force energy they literally popped you know back and so that's the message is if you feel completely sucked dry and about to give up on this journey and that's the message from the twin it's like put yourself in a bubble of energy invite your twin into that and fill your energy field full of love full of this wonderful you know pink rose quartz energy fill it full of the golden energy you know i always use the little golden bear in healings and it is about filling your energy field with love and then that will keep you going right that will, is what will keep you going on the journey all right well listen if you want to have a letter healing reading please do but in the meantime i hope you have a great day all right, take care. Bye.